but don't blink or you'll miss her. 21-year-old Sydney McLachlan is being hailed as the future. Sydney set the world record in mm. women's 400-meter hurdles after this sprint to the finish at the U.S. Olympic trials. What started with has now turned to. Now that's a major development. From being the athlete to watch, Sydney McLaughlin is now the athlete to beat. While she made it look easy, Sydney's path to being the GOAT was filled with humps and bumps. But just because she chose to follow her path and fell in love with the sport, her journey was still tinged with trials. And not just literally, it had not always been that way. As a young girl born to a family of athletes, Sydney had big dreams, but it was the 2008 Olympics that truly gave birth to a dream. In her book, Far Beyond Gold, Running From Fear to Faith, McLaughlin Lavrone explained how one race featuring Allison Felix and Sonia Richards Ross changed her life. After watching them on the screen during the 2008 Beijing Olympics, the then eight-year-old Sydney decided her future. Sydney confessed to imagining herself running beside Felix and Richards Ross. Sydney described them as track icons who took and kept the lead for the United States that day. I jumped up and cheered, pumping my fists in the air, she recalled. When the American team emerged victorious, Sydney knew what she wanted to accomplish in the future. I'm going to do that. I'm going to win a gold medal at the Olympics, Sydney told her mother as she saw her heroes earn gold for the US. She immersed herself in training and rose through the ranks at a prodigious pace. Her hard work bore fruit when she made it to the US Olympic trials even before reaching senior year in high school. Her excitement and ambition were shortly replaced with fear and anxiety. In fact, it got so bad that she called her father and asked, Can I please pull out? Back in 2016, Sydney made her Olympic debut in the 400-meter hurdles at age 16, not even old enough to be called an adult. She opened up about her emotional journey at the 2016 Olympics in her book. She shared how stepping onto the track made her feel invincible, but also recalled the fears that nearly tore her down. Those fears, though, didn't last forever. Through her faith, she explains how she found freedom, saying forever free thanks to Jesus' sacrifice. Just before her first U.S. Olympic trials race, Sydney found herself in total panic mode. She begged her father to pull out of this race, but her dad, in his usual calm tone, reassured her and convinced her to just push through the first round. She did. As a 16-year-old, the New Jersey native broke the 400-meter hurdle world junior record with a time of 54.15 at the 2016 U.S. Olympic trials. That punched her ticket to the Rio Games. When she hit the track in Rio, things didn't go quite as planned, and she finished fifth in her semifinal heat, missing the finals. She regrouped as she geared up for the 2020 Tokyo Games. When it was time, she showed up ready to establish her dominance in the sport. It helped that she entered the Games after dismissing her rival, Dalila Muhammad's two-year-old world record in the 400-meter hurdles. Even then, the weather was against her favor. Before her heat event, the torrential rainfall made the environment hostile to competing in events like the 400-meter hurdles. Still, Sydney was adamant about starting her event. Ultimately, she took off the flight on the track as soon as the gun had fired. But the droplets of rain blurred her vision. In describing the moment, she wrote, I could hardly see. The rain stabbed my eyes, making the hurdles look like moving objects. Not one to be deterred, Sydney ran over the hurdles and posted the fastest qualifying time in the event. That remarkable feat cleared the doubts from her mind. Her confidence grew to the extent that she thought of one straight target. I would be competing for gold. So she did. She took 51.46 seconds to hit another world record in the event. From there, Sydney continued to make her way to the top while breaking records in the process. Now, sprinters from all over the globe constantly attempt to outrun the American 400-meter hurdle, Queen Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone. For her part, Sydney shared her faith's role in her life as a track star. The 25-year-old recently became the first woman to win two Olympic gold medals in the 400-meter hurdle event. She first triumphed at the Tokyo Olympics and for a second time at the Paris game, 
in which she set a new world record of 50.37 seconds to win gold, breaking her own previously held 50.65. After winning gold, she immediately dedicated her win to God. I credit all that I do to God, she said at the press conference. He's given me a gift. He's given me a drive to just want to continue to improve upon myself. When asked about what she would tell her 17-year-old self at her first Olympics, Sydney said, Your value is not based on whether you win or lose this race. You are loved before and after. You are secure in Christ. You get to do what you love and glorify God on that stage. It took her a lot of heartache and anxiety before she was able to learn this lesson and apply it in her life. That's the track star's mentality now and it enabled her to win two gold medals and set a new world record in Paris at the 2024 Olympics. Aside from her track and field career, McLaughlin Lavrone has goals that are way bigger than just winning gold medals. I love track and field. I'm going to continue to do it the best I can, Sydney said. Like Girls on the Run, I love encouraging the next generation and pouring into them. I'm excited to be an ambassador in every way I can and I'm just looking forward to all that God has for me. For context, Girls on the Run is a nonprofit organization dedicated to creating a world where every girl knows and activates her limitless potential and is free to boldly pursue her dreams. All that said, it does not come as a surprise that she is beloved and admired by many, especially young girls. Don't be mistaken though, Sydney does not only inspire young girls, Sydney's biggest support, besides family and friends, comes from her hometown. As a matter of fact, a celebration was held in Dunellen in her honor. To top off the evening, the Olympian was given a key to the city, and a street in Dunellen is now known as McLaughlin Lavrone Lane. Likewise, the University of Kentucky Athletics Hall of Fame, class of 2024, recently welcomed six distinguished athletes, including Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone. It means so much, McLaughlin Lavrone said of her Hall of Fame selection prior to the induction ceremony. Only coming here for a year, it was an amazing year. So being able to have an impact that warrants me even being where I am today, being inducted, it just means so much. It's a huge honor to be here. Union Catholic High School in Scotch Plains, New Jersey too, celebrated her impressive accomplishments. Sydney returned to her alma mater for the unveiling of another Olympic banner which displays her latest accomplishments. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone is indeed the GOAT. She is an inspiration both inside and outside of the track. The way she uses her platform to spread kindness and positivity is just another reason why people love her. Here's another athlete in the public eye 